feel like it's not maybe cookout approach just because if you were to cook out, it's 90 degrees. Yeah. That sh in the sun for more than an hour. Hi, my name is Makiba, and welcome to my very first cocoa butter cookout. Today, I have invited five special guests to join me and show off their best cookout dish. Now, three of the guests I invited are a part of the family, AKA, they're black, and two of the guests I invited are plus ones, AKA, they're non-black. Now, everybody at the cookout will get a chance to taste all of the dishes except their own, rate them on a scale of one to 10, and see if they can guess which dish was made by the plus ones. At the very end of all the tastings, the dish with the highest score is gonna be crowned best dish. Five dishes will enter, but only one of them is gonna take home the title. Let's see. In your opinion, what makes a great cookout dish? Homemade. I don't feel like you can bring something store-bought to the really? cookout. Something that's easy to transport. It's gotta be shareable. Have you been to cookouts hosted by both black and non-black people in your lifetime? Technically, yes. Okay. Because I am of Puerto Rican descent, but I've okay. never been to a white cookout. Never so been to a white cookout. Call me for a white cookout. <laughs> I have never been to a cookout with white people before. Never. Or if they have been there, I have not noticed. Really? Interesting. Usually people of African descent, uh, they usually use a lot of different spices and something with like big bold flavors. Yes. If it's non-black, it's usually kind of bland. How long have you been bringing dishes to cookouts in general? This year, is this my first time trying this dish? So wait, this is your very first time making that dish? Yes, very first time. What makes it special, it has a lot of things from the Marine Corps. So you got the air, land, and the sea, uh, which means it's chicken and beef and fish. What makes my dish special is that it's been in my family for years. It's something different than like a regular tossed salad or a regular pasta salad. It has a little bit of extra kick to it, a lot of extra spices. My cookout dish I think is incredible because the sauce that's in my cookout dish is sticky. The base of it's honey. There's garlic, ginger, chilies. It definitely has the strong flavors and it's a good mix between the black and the Puerto Rican side of myself into one dish. My dish is special because it's a cultural recipe is jerk chicken. Me, my aunt, and my mom made it together, so there's a lot of love in it. So let's start with this one. Okay. We have a lemon chili wing. It's really good. It's a little bit citrusy, good marinade. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. I love citrus. When it comes to wings, they yeah. need to be crisp. You gotta have that char. Yeah, and the skin on this was uh, just a little gummy, which okay. is like really, really um, kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of lemon, but I feel like maybe they were trying to make lemon pepper, but it didn't hit the level of lemon pepper that they okay. were trying to get. It, it, it lacked seasoning. I would think that this dish was bought by a plus one. How do you feel like that stands up to yours? Oh, that doesn't even come near mine. We're at two different cookouts. This oh one's the boring God. one. Mine's the fun one. We got the band over Lord, at mine. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, what are you ranking that? I would rank it a five. For effort? No effort, um, no. Nah, this ain't <laughs> kindergarten. Well, I'll give it an eight out of 10. That's definitely a zero. That's a, that's a negative Yelp review. I would give it a three. Is it making it to your plate at the cookout? Oh God, no, 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 no. I don't want your food. Oh, I don't want to no. go to your house. I don't want to know what you order at a restaurant. Next, this is a macaroni salad. It's, I don't know, like. <laughs> also gonna smell this one. Interesting. Oh, they brought it. It's tuna something, right? Like, t yeah, it's tuna. And they'll use like a, a flavored mayonnaise or they just put a lot of seasoning. I just feel like I, I tasted the paprika and nothing else. Really? Okay then. Mm, it's really good. I um, taste a little bit of mayo, a little bit of onions. Mm. Something about the color is throwing me off too. When you see macaroni salad, like either the, usually you see like the rainbow pasta. Really, white I've never seen pasta. mac salad but rainbow pasta. Oh, they have like wow. the rainbow curly pasta, or you'll see like it'll just be lighter in color than lighter this. in color. Okay, 
There's lots of flavor. The pasta, you can tell, was seasoned when they cooked it. I really like the hard boiled eggs in there. Yeah. What did you feel about like eggs that were added? Um... There were eggs? That looks like an onion. Zero. It wouldn't even make it smell wow. That's why I did a zero. Okay, heard. All right. I only tried it because I'm here. <laughs> Definitely a nine. I would go to the cookout, eat the first bit, get my get a second helping, and then when everyone else is like kind of focused on other things, I would sneak here. over <laughs> and just like grab a little bit more. Is this making it to your cookout plate? No. No. I'm no. I probably would taste it once and then be like, mmm, scrumptious. Not you, you're not tight. You not lie about people's seconds. food. If you just lie to people about their food, they can then make they, it again. Yeah, then they find out that their food is bad on shows like this. I think good textures. I'll give it a nine. Six. This is chicken with awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. That's what it's First, called. I want to taste the chicken. That is a honey and garlic ginger sauce. Chicken is good. The sauce? What is that? Like some soy ginger thing? Yeah, it's like soy ginger, sesame seeds. I just feel like it's kind of dry. The no. sauce is like the redeeming factor. I don't know if I taste the honey in it, but I definitely taste like the ginger, the garlic. Blow my mind. It's really good. The sauce is brilliant, actually. Chicken is perfectly cooked. This is by far my favorite dish right here, but, but not better than mine. It's a little too chewy to me. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Yes! 8.5. A five, because a five. the sauce was decent. I will give it a 10. You're the first person to finish the entire thing today. That's Am I the bad. first black person here then? Like, no, who are not. these people leaving food around? We have land, air, and sea tacos. I think the person named it that? Yeah. That sounds like a yeah. plus one kind of vibe. <laughs> land, air, and sea tacos? Yeah. <laughs> The land taco is the steak taco, the sea taco is the fish taco, and then the air taco is the chicken. Mm -mm. No! Oh my God. Mm. Mm. She looking for the trash here, over here. Sorry. <laughs> it was really unbalanced. The slaw that was on top was just like a little too much because it overpowers like the whole taco. There's an odd mix of flavors going on there. Mm. Incorrect. Thoughts. I think the flavor on all the tacos are really good, but the meats are a little dry. I don't know what this is. Is this fish or what? Maybe that was, I don't know. Okay. The beef one is better. The beef, I just think, is under seasoned. And it was also super dry. The meat one, best, followed by chicken, followed by sea. This is beef though, this is, this is good. I would better? give this taco a 10 out of 10 actually, for this plate, but. Nice. The plate itself will get something different. <laughs> so I'll give it a six. Good solid four. Three. Is this making your, your cookout plate? No. It's no, not gonna make the plate. None of them close, would no. make, even individually, none of them would make the plate? No, absolutely not. I'll give it like a, a 3.5. And the three comes from, from <laughs> the that, middle one. <laughs> and then the presentation is nice. Would this make it to the take home plate? Like you come home drunk and it's late at night and like you just want something quick and easy to like, would it make it to your to go plate? I've got to be drunk out of my mind to the point where I don't taste my own spit. Oh, wow. All Sorry, right. Person. This is jerk chicken over so rice. So excited. I was fully expecting it to be super spicy or like a little tingle. I didn't ride away, but it's slowly settling. Wow. This is really good. I could tell by looking at it. It had all the spices and it has the right amount of kick to it. It's got lots of flavor to it. How was the chicken cooked in your opinion? Chicken was also good. It's very smoky, have good flavor, but it's a little bit dry. To be fair, this person left their jerk sauce at home. So they were a little disappointed about it. Um, do you feel like with sauce, it would have like brought it over? Yeah, definitely. I want to make friends with that person and get their recipe <laughs> if you guys want to share that info. I'm going to give it a nine. Eight only because the chicken was tender, mm -hmm. but a little dry, which okay. is weird. Like an eight. I'll give it a seven. With the sauce, I'll give it a eight and a half. Which of these dishes were brought by the plus ones? Without question. And if it's not, you should be ashamed. 
Uh, I, I would say this one because they forgot the sauce. And I, I never knew a black person who forgets the sauce in a uh, cookout. <laughs> so I, I base my opinion on my experience. So. <laughs> <laughs> the tacos. The tacos are made by the non-black person. I Everything so. else is made by black people. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has this little presentation for a little, for a little plate thing. Do you taking points off for like it a, being like well structured? That's a gimmick. That's a as seen on TV gimmick. Yes, and I am gonna absolutely take points off of that. This one, just because they focus more on presentation than how it actually tasted. Definitely this chicken, and then. I'll say the tacos the is tacos. also a plus one. The votes are in and with a score of 32.5 out of a possible 40 points, our winner is Anastasia. <laughs> you as the plus one to the black cookout were voted the best dish at the black cookout. How do you feel in this moment? I feel good. I feel great. If you're looking to give advice to any non-black person looking to like make a dish that is good enough to come to a black cookout and perform well, what would you give them? It's about the community, it's about heart, it's about soul, which is why soul cooking, soul food is so closely you know, put together with the black community. So put your heart and soul into it, just no, no holds barred. You are invited to all of my cookouts if you bring this. Happily. Oh Thank my God. you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>